the top arm wrestler right now, you would die if I told you what he's using on a regular basis. For steroids. Yeah, it's, it's insane. <laughs> anyone watching, literally anyone, right? The likelihood that they will be able to make a career out of using steroids, right? And pursuing any sport where they feel they have to use steroids for strongman, powerlifting, bodybuilding, for example, arm wrestling, even arm wrestlers at the top are jacked. They're enormous. They're on the top arm wrestler right now. You would die if I told you what he's using on a regular basis. There is no secret about steroid usage in strength sports, even in Olympics. And it's supposed to be most audited organization when it comes to drug usage. Yet, especially in weightlifting, there are a lot of intricacy going on, especially in recent years. I highly suggest you to watch Ikaro's documentary about this. When you look at Levan Saganashvili, there is no need for someone to tell you, hey, Levan is on serious juice, you know. If someone went this to this, walking around 180 kilos with wainy arms, or curl people's works at deadlift numbers, then you can understand, it's not just a good genetics. The sentence of good genetics lost its meaning these days. People say, oh, he is like this because he has good genetics, even though he is taking steroids. When you paste the sentence of good genetic, you can get away with anything. Gordon Ryan is considered the best judicial athlete of all times, but because of some gut illness, he is off the most part of his cycle. And check out his recent state. He looks like regular Joe who goes to gym time to time. What I mean by that, the sport industry must be more open and honest about steroid usage, so people won't feel hopeless or think their genetics are shit when it comes to competing. Because still a lot of people doesn't have even clue the impact of steroid usage on performance. Fedor Emelianenko, the greatest MMA fighter of all time, said one of his podcasts, his genetics wasn't that good when he first started MMA. And actually, yes, you can say that by looking his body proportion. But he said, he trained extremely and he turned himself to a cyborg. So maybe we also need to talk about how we overrate this whole genetic thing. Yet all the top level athletes would tell the same thing, train hard, but especially in strength sport industry. While they consume the type of drugs that you can't even pronounce their name and you always hear this. Hey dude, listen to this, okay? Train hard, work hard. Eat your vegetables, take your protein shake, blah blah blah, then you'll get them, okay? No, train hard, work hard, take your protein shake, and take shit lot of drugs, then maybe you can get there. Some arm wrestler says the modern arm wrestling genetics are different now, stronger and better than the old days. This argument is so ridiculous. Just like bodybuilding, new era arm wrestling isn't better. Just the drug usage is more common and better now. Like in all things, drug industry is evolving each every year. So if you think today's drug usage percentage are the same with 80s and 90s, then you are something special. Why John Berzin considered the greatest arm wrestler who ever lived? Exactly because of this. Looking like a skinny psychopath with big forearms and smash people all around the world like three decades. And almost in 60s, but continue to smash people. Recently, I bumped into a YouTube poll, I don't remember the channel's name, and asked whose genetics were better. And people selected Dennis. Dennis Seplenko is one of the other examples of people mistaken with superior genetics and over drug usage. When you compare with John Berzeng and Dennis Seplenko on genetics, it's like compare with natural flower with artificial flower. Artificial flower looks more beautiful, more attractive, more eye catching. Yet, in the end, it's handmade and can't compare with the natural one. Seplenko's kidneys failed even before his 40s. Now imagine the person of drug usage throughout his life. And please, little search of the drug's effect on bone density. So my question is, how many more years Levan can keep his reign? At his last competition, he needed oxygen support. And I know, deep down inside, some of you say, an athlete shouldn't look this way. A couple of months ago, I made a video called How many more years Levan can keep this up? So, if someone like Larry Wills even surprised about steroid dosage of Levan, then you would know he can't keep this up much longer. Why did I say someone like Larry Wills? Because it's no secret that Larry's experienced almost all the steroid types throughout his career. And again, 
Even though Levon's consultant tries to look SARMs innocent, SARMs are one of the most harmful and dangerous steroid types in the world. The effects directly hits the liver and once the liver system is collapsed for good, there is no turning back from it. Only solution is liver transplant. And liver transplantation if not the most but one of the most difficult transplant operation in the world. Above all SARMs one of the thing he has used. The other stuff he take will affect his kidneys, his heart and other organs in time. I said in time but I would love to see Levan's liver enzymes or heart condition. Some of you say how the hell do you understand his liver values. Actually I can understand because my mother is liver transplant patient and in years I learned which values where it needs to be. So I need to say this, the last thing you want in this life is to get sick from your liver. Can we blame him because of this? No. His choice to put his life in danger for some people. It's the price you need to pay order to get victory. But I have to say this, in life you should eat as much as you can shit. If you can pay the price of your actions, by all means. But don't you ever compare yourself in another people, especially people who has fame and extreme success. Human nature tend to self-justification. They always say somehow they are special and beyond all others. So no one will tell you and say, hey, I worked hard. But you know what, I also took shit lot of this or that.